a lot of their players are in this. Uh, this was a this is a diamond uh, master grandmaster pool of players. Um, so definitely a more upper tier play. And this is the semifinals game too. We unfortunately were not able to win this game one. Um, which I have actually no clue who won. Um, and yeah, we should one. probably have asked him that uh, real quickly. It makes, but, it, uh, makes it, it makes this mysterious. So, indeed, let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna call this one for even before anything starts. I'm gonna call it for Praetor. You know, Angie, uh, they're a very. I actually know their tag. I know their name. Uh, very good team. I like what Re I like what Rev Doctor has done. I like what I've seen. Um, Looks like he knows his uh, mechanical uh, mech play, so with tanks and stuff like that. So and he knows how to work the Hellions. So, I mean the Banshees. So I expect him to do uh, decently well. Um, it looks like we are on MLG Shatter Temple, if I'm correct, right? Yes. Yes, it is indeed. You've got the little supply depots there, and you want to go ahead and do uh, player introductions? Yes. Uh, in our uh, nine o'clock position, we have our Terran. Oh, cool. Live Doctor. Give you the opening right there, and guys, to our bottom in the six o'clock position, we have another Terran. NG Predator. You gotta have those like weird tags that like makes it really like more. Uh, uh, I think it's the tags that make it sound really. Yeah, good. It's like adding in the adding in the clan doc, Slayer. adding in the clan tags. Yeah, I know, especially uh, just like Slayer's MC or Slayer's yeah. MMA, just yeah, stuff like that. <laughs> Slayer's MC. MC. Okay. Yeah, here yeah. we're gonna have MC coming like through into my bedroom at night and just. Drop a Slay, slaying you. He's gonna send a void ray. At, he's gonna send a void ray at me. Uh, so. uh, Stargate Unidimba. I know Stargate. You got. You have to admit that is, he, if there's a player that does it any better, it's there is nobody better than him. I don't think that he gets that Phoenix void ray play out. Those uh, queens man. are toast. I if you're just, a I love watching him, I love watching him use Phoenixes against Terran simply because I hate watching him use. Uh, you know his his epic Imba void rays against the Zerg, but whenever he's flying a fleet of Phoenixes over a Terran base, it's just hilarious because it's like they're there, you know, they don't care, and they, you know they're gonna pick up your underwear or whatever whatever they do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an awesome analogy. Um, looking at game really quick, uh, guys. Uh, as you guys are watching, uh, this is the very early part of the game. Um, TVT, so no player's really gonna make a there's no such thing as really much of a quick push unless it's an all-in. Um, both players doing a very standard play, if I'm not mistaken. I see, at least for the NG Praetor, he got his 10 supplies, got his 12 racks, uh, 13 gas. Uh, Barracks, it looks like he is going for a factory, uh, 20 factory, 19, I mean. And it looks like Rev Doctor actually, wow, this is a, almost a near mirror game. Look at this. Yep, right. this is actually, in fact, an exact mirror game. And like we saw in the last uh, game that we cast with Rev Doctor, his uh, mechanics in the early game execution of the build are slightly better. His refinery slightly quicker, um, his tech lab slightly quicker, his factory already up, while, um, or his factory just, I mean, it's ever so slightly, everything's ever so slightly quicker. So his execution of a build is quite good and you know that can either reflect a high level player or just a player who does a lot of uh, you know one base or two base timing pushes and just practice those builds over and over again and maybe his late game understanding isn't uh, as good you never know. Now uh, Asian as a coach I do have to ask you um, I'm starting to pay attention like this has actually been a lately uh, thing I've been trying to work on and pay attention to in my game and that's actually structure positioning as you look at where uh, Rev Doctor is placing a starport and factory uh, compared to where um, NG Praetor has put his factory just kind of out there and open, do you think that has a big deal? Because uh, usually when a scan goes down, it's kind of towards, I guess, the upper part, maybe a little bit towards the ram, just to see what the unit composition is. It's never like directly or on the lower part of where n nothing's really going on or the corner of the bases. What yeah, it's absolutely a good idea to spread out your buildings so that they can't be all scanned at once, unless, of course, you're planning on um, throwing down a tech lab switch like we saw Rev Doctor do. Um, so Rev Doctor is going to be coming out with the cloaked banshees, whereas Praetor looks like he's probably going to be going for that blue flame hellion drop. Yeah, so as we see, uh, that uh, upgrade for the blue flame is very close to finishing, and um, but, oh, this could actually be very, very bad. Um, Neither play has Xelnaga control, so they don't know if they're coming, but if Rev Doctor was smart, he does need to put a bunker down, because um, I don't see... 
Medivac is getting built, but I don't know if he's planning to do a drop or what he's trying to do. Um, oh, Rev Doctor, he does not have uh, Marines. He does not have the units to stop this right oh, now. Oh no, and a Banshee. Yeah, you're absolutely right. A Banshee coming in. Only three Marines out right now for Praetor. Um, Praetor and is doing a very smart job right now. Uh, sorry, not to cut you off, but he's doing very smart by uh, trying to counter right now. But and he's oh no, this dropship about to almost goes down, and the Hellions do manage to get out, but there's so many Marines there. And I'm surprised he didn't pull SCVs to, use to help. He, he absolutely just did there. Absolutely uh, swallowed. Um, I would expect a GG very soon. He's trying to build a Viking. Um, I don't know if the cloak upgrade is going down. The cloak upgrade is almost done. It's just about finished, and only 45, 46 energy on that orbital command. He now the Banshee is cloaked. The Banshee is cloaked. He should be able to take this down, but there is only one command center. There are no Ravens on the playing field. And then there's a second Banshee. Once this is gone, this is going to be, I feel like this is going to be GG for NG Praetor. There is no scan, there is no Raven on the field, and all he could do is lose, uh, lose these SCVs right now. He actually, that second one, did, that first one did not go down, so there are two cloaked Banshees hitting very hard in the base. All these SCVs are going down. GG, yep. well played. And there it is. Play. And apparently Rev Doctor did take game one. Um, so it looks like Rev Doctor is going to be playing in the finals in the best of five against Yosep. Uh, very quick compared to the first match. Uh, like we said, very good mechanics. We did give a little Rev Doctor a little praise. Uh, great Banshee play and timing. Um, I mean, it just worked fortunate because pretty much uh, I think NG Predator went all in with uh, Blue Flame ba uh, Banshees, or at least he didn't scout out the Hellions coming at him just yet. Like we are talking about structure positioning. Yeah, absolutely. Um, although it, you know, it always surprises me whenever uh, a high-level player gets taken off guard by something like a, a, blue, a blue flame hellion drop or a cloak banshee rush, because it's like, hey, that's all you freaking Terrans do is that kind of craziness. So, I mean, you should be ready for it, right? Yeah, you actually should. Um, um, one thing I always advise uh, is somehow figuring out how to put an engine.